some of the games will start out on. Yeah, <laughs> Seven point you. difference with Collingwood. Yeah, it's a uh, yeah, crazy experience, full on. I uh, really love the challenge. So. The, the uh, coach said it was the best game that the Lions have played since he has been coaching here. Yeah, it was um, a great game. It uh, wasn't the result we wanted, but a lot of positives to take out of it. Um, very high scoring game. And, uh, yeah, it was good. Really good. How do you feel that your performance was? Um, yeah, it's hard. Yeah, I struggle. I don't know. I haven't watched the vision yet, but um, all happened so quick. So uh, it's good to get the first one out of the way. A lot of nervous energy. So uh, yeah, now I'll sit down and check it out and go from there. It's a diff different pathway you've taken to, <coughs> to the AFL being on TV at all, isn't it? Yeah. Um, coming from the recruit, um, it's been a bit of a challenge, um, but I've loved every moment of it. So it's been really good. So when you're footballer first, reality TV star second, which, which way does it go? Uh, very ordinary footballer first, and then yeah, <laughs> progress from there. So. Uh, can you tell us about your early days at the club, Matt? Because you took a different path, I imagine it's... How was it trying to fit in with the playing list, and you've come in a, a bit older than most guys that have come to a club? Yeah. Um, obviously, the pathway is a lot different, so you feel a bit isolated when you come in. Um, yeah, it's, you just really got to build connection with the players, uh, earn their trust and the coaching staff. Um, but once I did that, I found some form and just just went from there, really. So it was really good. Did you feel you had to you know, work even harder to kind of prove your worth because you didn't take that traditional way into yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. Um, I felt like there was a lot more pressure on me. Um, yeah, a lot of people watching, so it's sort of, I've got to do good. So. When you were running out, like, tell us about that moment. Uh, running out was amazing. Um, could hear just everyone like, screaming out. So, um, yeah, just tried to concentrate on the game. And, uh, yeah, like I said, really good to get the first one out of the way. So. Obviously, once you won the show, your goal is to play footy. But did you think it was realistic um, once you entered the club? Uh, yeah, I, I worked really hard on the show. I'm uh, very grateful for it, but once I got to the club, it saw it, um, it, it made me realise how much work I have to do. So uh, from there, it was just putting my foot down uh, and just working as hard as I could for as long as I could. So. Are, you are you surprised at the improvement you've made? Because your coach sounded like, maybe not surprised, but he was impressed with the progression you'd made at least. Uh, Personally, not really. Like I'm always challenging myself, trying to get the best out of myself. So um, I was hoping it'd come a lot earlier, but um, I trusted them, um, and yeah, it's, I'm grateful to be here. So. What about um, just on your performance? You didn't seem to, like you gave away a couple of free kicks early, but that was being aggressive in contests. Like you obviously weren't sort of overawed by making your debut. Uh, no, not at all. I, I didn't mind. Um, yeah, attacking the ball hard. If I gave away a free, I made them earn it. So uh, that's just how I play. Uh, yeah, they did a good job, but yeah, I tried to do my best. Do you feel like you sort of needed a bit of time to find your mojo? Were you a bit nervous going into it? <coughs> um, definitely the first quarter, I was blowing up pretty early. Uh, probably, bit of, probably put a bit of pressure on myself to get in the right places and just overthinking. and That probably affected uh, everything else. So. Uh, once I settled in the second and third quarter, I just went from there. It's, it was easy enough. So. There's obviously like a lot of interest around your debut. Did you get messages from a lot of people or any, any interesting sort of yeah, conversations you can tell us about? Support's been great from everyone. Um, have a, yeah, had a lot of support from all over the country, which is great. Uh, phone was blowing up from Thursday night, so I just turned it off and tried to concentrate on the game as much as I could. So. How's the team been responding? Uh, the team's been great. Um, they all get around me and um, they realise how much hard work I've put into it. So, uh, yeah, all the players are fantastic and the coaches. So. Did you have a chat with Mick Mouldhouse? He's the one that uh, yeah, <laughs> was Mick, your coach on the show. Yeah, Mick, uh, Mick messaged me uh, Friday morning um, as well as Eddie McGuire. And that was pretty good. So, yeah. How, how was, I was wondering that on Friday, actually. Interesting that you're playing. Eddie's yeah. team essentially, and it was his yeah, show that got you into it. It was a bit cheeky with a message. He said, Good luck, but um, after this week's game, good luck. Well, 
it's pretty. Uh, yeah, it's good to get a, a text from him. Shows that he uh, has interest in me. So it's good. It was very entertaining um, game on the weekend. Even though the Lions didn't win, do you feel like you really kind of proved your point and kind of restored faith in the Lions fans? Uh, I think the fans should um, take a lot out of the game. Although we didn't get a win, we we showed a lot of positives. Uh, our defense did really well. It was a really high scoring game, but. Um, yeah, the scoring shots were quite low, so uh, I think yeah, there's a lot of positives to take out. We did we did a good job, and the fans should be happy. So it was good to see Zorko back in prime form as well. Yeah, Zorko is back in form, so that's all, also another reason the crowd should get up. And yeah, it's good. The crowd was really loud last night. So.